गुड मॉर्निंग एम आई ऑडिबल Am I audible to all? Yes, sir. Okay, great. So we are starting with the prayer. <clears throat> Good morning. Master Samuel Hanuman, who have found this divine science and taught us dare to be wise, seeking blessings from our Guru, Dr. Prabhu Vijayakar Sir, 
प्रणाम गुरु जी वो मेड दिस डिवाइन साइंस एंड बेजिक विद द मॉडर्न साइंस एंड मेड होम्योपैथी इजी फॉर आवर मैथमेटिक्स जय हनुमान जय होम्योपैथी ओम विजय कराय नमः वी आर इन द जर्नी ऑफ रीडिंग अ फोर्थ बुक फ्रॉम डॉक्टर विजय कर सर so this book of verbatim we are reading it is the workshop conducted by the sir in the year of 2002 in mahabaleshwar so this is a transcript of this whole workshop along with we are reading the wisdom of master hanuman from the organ on of medicine sixth edition so in the last week we have read about a certain aphorism the aphorism number 76 So now today we are reading about aphorism number seventy-seven. Those diseases which are inappropriately named chronic, which persons incur who expose themselves continually to avoidable noxious influences, who are in the habit of indulging in injurious liquor or ailment, are addicted to. dissipations of many kinds which undermine the health who undergo prolonged abstinence from things that are necessary for the support of life who resides in unhealthy localities especially marshy districts who are housed in a cellar or other confined dwellings who are deprived of exercise or of open air who ruin their health by over exertions of the body and mind who live in a constant state of worry etc this state of ill health which persons brings upon themselves disappears spontaneously provided no chronic miasm lurk in the body under an improved mode of living and they cannot be called as chronic disease so what master hanuman is telling about in the aphorism number 4 the likewise the preserver of the health so in that case anuman is telling about that those diseases which are a lifestyle modifications disease which is mostly because of the change in the lifestyle it is produced for a time being due to the over indulgence or something which is necessary for the life it is not taking or due to the over exertions and everything so whenever you remove that cause that means we have to prevent this without any applications of medicine provided this disease are not developed due to underlying lurking of the miasm so if this is the case then no medicine is required and in that case you just remove the maintaining cause and the patient will be better so this is what master is telling about in this aphorism now what he telling about initially he tells about the artificial chronic disease then he tells about the inappropriate name the chronic disease and now in the aphorism number 78 he said about the true natural chronic disease are those that arising from the chronic miasm that is means the defense mechanism as we are learning from the vijaykar sir's book which when left to themselves and unchecked by employment of the those remedy that are specific for them always go on increasing and growing worse not withstanding the best mental and corporeal regimen and torment the patient to the end of life with the ever aggravated suffering so that is what master is telling about the true natural disease always progress from the chronic miasm and that miasm from progress from the outburst of latent sora to the sora sora went into psychosis progresses into syphilis as we have learned from the physical science book so unless and until it is only and only checked by the employment of the remedy that specific for them specific for them means specific for the particular miasm that means we have to prescribe the genetic constitutional similarity considering the particular miasm then and then it is checked otherwise it will not and it will grow worsening 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 and 
it may end the life of the patient. So this is what <clears throat> for is number 78 is the telling us. This accepting those produced by medical malpractice, that is the artificial produces, are the most numerous and the greatest source courage of the human race for the most robust constitutions. Even in previous aphorism, we thought about that master is telling about that uh, maintaining cause ko agar remove karenge ya lifestyle mein modification karenge to change aa jayega par agar myasm lurking hai or the defense mechanism is going progressively from sora to psychosis to syphilis so robust constitutions hoga mode of life ko hum regular karenge vigorous energy bhi vital force mein hoga to bhi hum wo disease ko remove nahi kar payenge that is what master is telling about unless and until it is unchecked by checked by the homeopathic specific remedy to aise hi robust constitution hoga to bhi wo disease ko theek nahi kar payega so footnote 76 telling that during the flourishing year of the youth with the commencement of the regular menstruations joined to a mode of life beneficial to the soul heart and body they remain unrecognized for years those afflicted appears in a perfect health to their relatives and acquaintances and the disease that was received by the infections or the inheritance seems to have wholly disappeared but in the later years after the adverse event and the conditions of the life they are sure to appear anew and develop the more rapidly and assume a more serious character in proportion as the vital principle has become disturbed by debilitating passions worry and care but especially when disorders by inappropriate medical treatment so this is what something that is what master is telling about that <clears throat> our genetics has certain predisposition which is we are getting from our ancestor received from inheritance that is the whole inheritance but unless and until it is not developed it develop in the later years when adverse event that means the circumstances which happening to affect the individual sensitivity or the condition of the life and then it develop into activity arouse into activity and it is mostly due to by the passions that means any emotions that causes the effects the worries and the care and that lead to the disorders also by some inappropriate medical treatment then the disease has been risen up so this is what the master is telling about the wisdom of master is that we have to look into each and every things what we are treating and what we are dealing with so friends uh, as you all know that we are reading the book verbatim the workshop by Dr. Prafun Vajikar, sir, in 2002, Mahabaleshwar. So, up till now, we have read about the chapter of Dr. Vijaykar, who taught about the understanding of the myasm, the understanding of the embryology, the understanding of the follow-up, and how to adapt our system, and how to understand the follow-up with the base of the science. Then and then, we can... go in the right directions of the treatment so that we can cure the patients now in the chapter 2 today we are dealing with the chapter 2 and the today's sessions will be remain a short so because this chapter is very short so we will conclude today's sessions very early most probably within half an hour so in chapter 2 the questions is like that can we handle genetic disease can we as a homeopath can we handle genetic disease this is the questions to everyone anyone who have some input in your mind can we handle genetic disease and what could be the possibility and what could we have to be in this cases please write your answer in chat box so we can have a little conversation and then we will go with the readings of sir book so what sir has thought and what we have to adapt to learning in our practice 
can we handle genetic disease the question to all homeopath yes yes the we can definitely uh, dr kushbu has said that compensatory cures yes we can any inputs As we have seen in the camp cases that most of the genetic disorders we are treating with in the camp. Dr. Vijaykar has started this camp long back 20 years in the, uh, Mumbai and Mahabaleshwar. From that all over India this camp is running every three monthly even in Surat. Even in Gujarat, also three places we have run this camp. So in all camp, we have seen many disease which comes with the genetic disorders. So what Sir is telling us about in this? So there are a certain disease where you do not expect the return of symptoms. So that means the first, yeah, very important. We can improve their life. Very important. So that is what we have to keep something in our mind that we are like a scientist so we have to keep something in the mind that we have we are not we are not going to be a god we are not changing the mutations but we need to make the patient's life better with the disease also so what vijaykar sir is telling that there is a certain disease where you do not expect a return of the symptoms so this is what something because either they have a gross pathology involved or there is a destructive miasm at the genetic level which are not corrected. Then what you do? If we know that this disease is not reversible, what So the question is, can we handle genetic disease like Down syndrome, DMD, etc.? We certainly cannot cure genetic disorders or a mutations, but we can make them liable. So rightly said by doctors that we can make the improve the life of the patients. Now we will see the case where the destructive myism would not allow to progress. So this was the case by the sir. The, the ch this child was brought to me at a, brought to sir 12 years back. So almost in the <coughs> 1990 around 1990 because it was uh, 2002 so this child was brought to sir in 12 years back when she was six months old with the diagnosis of the down syndrome chromosome 21 trisomy female how do these children look they look chinese mongolian features the roundish faces since they their expressions is psychotic so there is the excess chromosome to so the express is also psychosis. Her mother and her grandmother brought her to sir. Her grandmother was a nurse in one of the leading hospital. She got the child to sir because she thought allopathy had nothing to offer. What is the scope? Can we cure trisomy? Sir always says no. But we can at the most make them perform their normal day-to-day -day activity. That is what we have to improve their life they can never compete with other children can never go to the school for the normal children or can be intelligent though they can learn songs when they go to the syphilitic state so most of time we we came across that when the this down syndrome children goes to the syphilitic state they develop either a leukemia at a very early stage or alzheimer's and or a certain cardiac conditions so that is what the complications is now the video of the case the child was very calm and quiet the mother was very happy as she never had any problem with the child while she was working in the kitchen the child would lie down peacefully and calmly but does not like people crowding so this is what you have to keep in mind the dispositions of the child when too many people comes into the house, she become very frightened and start crying. She likes to be alone, aloof. Also, the child cries and vomit when she drinks milk. This had been a continuous factor since long. The first 
the mother thought maybe i am not lactating properly and the child would be hungry so she start stop feeding other artificial milk and yet the vomiting continue she noticed that outside milk was giving more problem especially because it was heated and given warm the child become very restless after milk feed especially more with the outside milk then she stopped milk and started some mom soup the same thing happened the child would be restless and vomiting out when anything warm warm soup or warm milk went inside the child could not tolerate this warmness so sir ask about the question does this is was a 6 month old child so you have to be careful you have to observe the child and looking into the history of the mother so this that you have to ask everything to the mother so sir ask that does she tolerate covering mother said she is worse from the fan her hair stand up on edges and yet she throws off covering she has profuse perspiration especially all over the head dr vijay kar says that this means this child is chilly but cannot tolerate warmth of the bed or the covering because fan is making her head straight so that means the boost bump has start in that means the child has the sensitivity or tolerance to the cold is more so that is what chilly but the same way the child cannot tolerate the warm coverings or the warmth of the bed even the warm food also cannot tolerate so what can you prescribe for the 6 month old child this was the observation you have and the all only this history you have what could be the presentations and what could be the <coughs> prescription totality so it was the dr vijay kar who understand this with the process so he made this analysis that a child is the round obese child the psychotic perspiration profuse aggravated from the milk especially warm milk and the mental general is very calm placid wants to be aloof and alone reserved aggravated from the presence of many people and did not like people around so these are the things is there in the 6 month old child so what is the remedy what could be the remedy we can think of so obese child perspirations aversion to milk especially warm milk aggravation very calm reserved aggravated presence of many people and do not like people so this is what we have to infer from that the child is very introverted child is timid child is calm and quiet child is reserved in the same time the physically child is very obese and psychotic with perspirations and aggravations and from the milk so on the basis of sir thought a certain remedies like this that is the calcarea sanicula natrum calf silica and the thuja so on the basis of each and every remedy sir is ruling and rule outing with the quality of each and every remedy so sanicula sanicula is a very angry irritable and cranky child with the sudden mood swings a playing child will suddenly start crying without the reason this is the mixtures of the chamomilla pulsatilla and sulfur excessive perspirations around the head the discharge is also very offensive and usually the child is lean thin and not fat and chubby so this is what the sanicula child is so certain point matches with the disposition but certain cannot so this is what sir has ruled out it another the calcarea is timid but does love magnetism touch and coziness here the child is very quiet and calm in the room this child hates the people and does not want people to come around so this is what a little difference from the calcarea and this child is again silicia the silicia is not such a misanthropic that means aversion to a peoples or aggravation from the presence of the people the, the patient does not want loneliness the silicia wants the comfort of the mothers the silicia does not like to be aloof and lonely so the remedy is natrum calf the chili aggravated from the milk but does not that 
restlessness and no anxiety after milk so rubric taken is like this the mood repulsive food milk anxiety aggravated eating warm foods aggravated from the milk and the child is very contented so this is what we thought certain remedy but out of that we always ruled out so sir always ruled out each and every remedy from the disposition point of view if we have a small case then also we have to go to the core of the remedy so that is what the art of sir had reached so so rubric taken was the mood repulsive food milk jab bhi milk lete hain tabhi uska disturbance shuru ho jata hai anxiety aggravated eating warm food that means the child becomes so much so restless and anxious so this restlessness is the mental pictures of the child and that is converted into rubric that is anxiety aggravated eating warm food especially whenever he drink a warm food aggravated after milk so she was uh, the child was vomiting after milk so that is what the aggravated and child is very calm and quiet so sir has take this rubric as contented physically she was very rounded and chubby so that was a psychotic so on the basis of that the she was given a mac cup the child was kept on mac cup 10m a single dose later on 50m one to two doses per year for almost 6 to 7 years so this is what the fall off of 12 years the patient came 12 years back to the sir and this is what the fall off so every year one or two doses of mac cup 10m or 50m was prescribed so improvement was good the intelligence increased and the child was admitted to the normal school so this is what you can think of that down syndrome child was admitted into the normal school she passed the entrance exam finish her first second third till the fifth standard like an absolutely normal child this is the follow up when she is grown up now we will see her in a video so this video also shown in the seminar that shows the previously the child look a mongol and after a few years the child facial expressions also changes and it is something like a normal child suddenly one fine day she came to sir she is now in the fifth standard in a normal school in parle mumbai and competing with the other intelligent children there so this is what the down syndrome child is competing with the normal children with the intelligence so follow up <clears throat> in august 2002 the patient is now 12 years so she came and stand in uh, stood in front of sir and asked do you recognize me who am i so this was the questions by down syndrome child to the sir the sir says yes i recognize you do you know me the patient says yes you are the doctor vijay kumar says do you understand english patient says yes so sir directly asks, what is your name what is your teacher's name what is it so patient says she tells her name fast my teacher name is meena she looks at her mother and says why is he asking again and again so this was the questions dr vijay kumar this irritation is angry when obliged to answer sorry i did not hear sir again probe the child is her nature irritable like that which subject do you like more the child says science and math frown on the forehead now understand a down syndrome child is interested in science what else you are learning sir is asking so patient mother says that karam bharatnatyam she defeat me in a karam she plays table tennis and badminton also she also does swimming she is curious and like to learn new things she is also a good folk dancer she picks up things very easily she knows how to cook foods she helped me in the kitchen she is a 12 years old and has got her mens is when she was in the second standard she knows how to handle her menstrual period and not to tell anyone so this is what how the maturity intellectual maturity of the child is at the 12 years okay dr vijay kumar sir to the delegate these people are not supposed to have a good coordination so this is what you whenever you think of down syndrome child they do not have a good coordination 
this child has such a beautiful coordination that she is so good at it and that she defeat her mother even in karam this girl has been offered a role in the hindi movie because they have never seen a mongol child who can be so normal so that is what the beneficials of homeopathy to this mongol child become normal so that was she was offered the role in a hindi movie but her parents are very reserved and see the intelligence the precocity she is not a typical mentally retarded child then vijikar sir asks what is the name of your school the patient says nanavati how many friends do you have patient says that ankush and hiral ankush failed in four standard but she went ahead he is her very fast friend she speak to him after school they used to sit on the same bench in the four standard dr vijikar the normal child failed and down syndrome child pass so this is what the how homeopathy divine homeopathy bring this child's intelligence from this a good you came to meet me today i am very happy now you have to understand that how many mongol child would comes to meet the doctor it was her suggestion to come to see me so that is what the child intelligence is so high so patient is telling thank you dr vijaykar why did you want to come and meet me and the answer is like that only bas aise hi the patient mothers all teachers love her very much the review by the patient mothers that all teacher love her very much a new principal had come to the school and she asked mother why have you put your down syndrome child in normal schools because in my 35 years of experience i have never seen any down syndrome child studying with a normal child if other children are scoring well then this child might develop inferiority complex the mother says it's okay we shall see in the first unit test it was a 40 minutes paper the girl completed the whole paper in 30 minutes dr vijaykar says it makes me very emotional this is the victory of homeopathy it is the homeopathy at work i literally feel like reporting this case to the guinness book of world record or somewhere that homeopathy can do something like this and what sir as how much percentage does she get and the patient get 55 to 60 percent all class teacher are saying don't worry if the principal tell her anything we are there to support her i told the principal suppose tomorrow she is not able to pick up then i will remove her and keep her at home but until now she has been doing well and i am sure she will do well at least if she studies well she can stand on her own feet and do her normal job what normal people are doing so this is what how down syndrome become normal again if we do the report of that genetic karyotyping the karyotyping remain the same but the expressions of the genes are changing and that is what we call is as the victory of homeopathy i had gone to the another school and asked the principal there is there any problem if i put my child in the normal school that principal was surprised how is she doing so well so that is what the everyone is astonished with the intelligence of the child dr vijaykar says mother had anxiety concerns of am i doing right or wrong so that was the mother's perceptions her <clears throat> her patients aversion to strangers and introverted is still there she still get nervous in presence of stranger so dr vijaykar says thank you patient says welcome so now can you define the scope of homeopathy so by looking this case into this how can we understand the scope of homeopathy so what has happened what is this child who is not supposed to have a normal intelligence is now competing with the normal people doing all extra curricular activity event to the event of having a precocities of her menses and everything so this is what the life has been improved we can modify such a 21 trisomy it means homeopathy must be having a fantastic power to modify the mutated genes or change not cure despite the disease
See, mind well, the mutation can remain the same, but the expressions of the gene has been changing. The psychosyphilitic miasm, these children are born with the psychotic miasm and go into syphilitic miasm. So despite the psychosyphilitic influence on the genetic, the child is growing as normal child. This is what I called as nullifying the effect of destructive miasm. So this is what sir is always telling us the idea about how our homeopathic medicines, when we understood miasm in a deeper sense, then and then we can able to handle this type of cases and then and then we can explain to the patient also that we can just change the genetic expressions. So the child is supposed to be destroyed but yet we have been able to fully compensate her. Here this is called as a compensatory. Can we call this cure? Absolutely, yes. Pathologically, she still remains uncured. But for all practical purpose, she is leading a normal life. This is what Hanuman says in aphorism number 1 and 8. So that is what we have to keep in our mind that sometime in a genetic mutations you cannot change the report but by changing the report is not the evidence the life of the patient has been improved in the genetic mutation is the only thing which is very important and it is only possible with the homeopathy now the again we all have the questions that the, why the higher potency has been given as already I had explained you in the question answer sessions about the high importance of the higher potency. What sir is telling here is that now the questions of the potency, why 10M or 50M? So the most dynamic things is affected here. That means the gene is affected here and the mutation in the gene is there. So here the most dynamic things is the highest dynamic dimension will only have the effect on the genetics. So whenever we have a highest dynamic, it directly stimulate the genes. The more the physical, the more the superficial, lower the potency, more the dynamic, higher the potency. This is what the source idea in this and that is why sir has prescribed 10M and 50M in genetic mutated cases. So you can also apply this uh, in the genetic mutated cases. You can apply the higher potency in your cases so that you can get the wonderful result. This is the 12 years follow-up case. So that guide us that how the child is bringing from six month Mongol child to the 12 years development in the end. They develop into normal school and learn everything in a normal school. So this is what the victory of homeopathy, what Vijaykar sir is telling us. The, similarly, Dr. Delegates ask questions similarly in cancer and AIDS where genetic mutation has taken place. Can we use the same principle? Dr. Vijay Prasar asks, this depends upon the vitality of the patients. If the genetic code is very much disturbed and the physical become very bad, that the patient has gone down in the health, the vital force is weakened. If we give a dynamic potency, the patient will go into a severe aggravation, specifically in cancer. In cancer and AIDS, the genetic mutations is secondary. In Down syndrome, the genetic mut mutations is primary. That means the primary means it started from the worms only. And in cancer and AIDS, it is after certain development in the life, it is developed. So that is what the secondary mutation. <laughs> From worm, it is called as the primary mutation. So here, sir, warn us, depending upon the vitality, you can apply the higher potency into the cases. So this is what the chapter 2 we are ending here and from tomorrow we are starting with new chapters and we will keep our session today very short so that we can manage everything or even I can manage certain things from my side. Uh, someone has suggested uh, for the early sessions but uh, due to certain time bound process I cannot manage that uh, previous in the first month I can manage to 6 o'clock uh, session but we will make the session 7 to 8 only uh, and 
again i will uh, upload this videos to youtube so don't worry about if you miss this sessions you can go to the youtube channel and you can see this video again so that you can learn from the readings so don't worry about it okay so thank you so much for today's sessions yes the uh, receiver mass genetic mutation cases can we give gcs or a state remedy most of genetic mutations cases sir has prescribed a genetic constitutional remedy and that is the only things uh, which gives a reason in most of camp cases but sometimes sir has prescribed based on the mother perceptions then the child is changing to a normalcy life then again the child disposition has erupted at that time the child genetics has been given so i remember a case of the camp uh, in that the child was uh, about a mentally retarded and a down syndrome child and the symptoms of that child pqr symptoms in that child was that uh, he used to go to the temple and he know that and exactly at 7 o'clock the uh, bell is ringing in the temple and he went to that and one more thing is that in that case was a child used to have a very preciseness in something that he used to uh, throw a stone uh, behind without looking and he directly hit the glass of the person so he said i will hit that on the glass of the person's eye glass so in that case sir is that there is this is called as a sharpness the exactness the sharpness so on the basis of that the sir prescribed the sharpness and exactness in the periodicity that is the delirious state of the child at the genetic mutation so on the basis of that the sir has prescribed the sedron to the child and after that said round the child was changed his disposition has been changed and then he started taking responsibility of everything and he become mature about it so that was the things so that the change disposition on on the basis of that sir took the responsibility strong and sir finally prescribed to the child was the orum metallicum so previously that was the state remedy on the basis of the delirious conditions of the exact periodicity and after that the responsibility has been come that is what the conscience has been started and that conscience gives to gives rise to a genesis of the genes so that on the basis of that sir has prescribed orum to that child i remember that case is there in the mumbai camp so many a time this is happening that in certain cases sir has prescribed the G uh, gcs and in certain cases sir prescribed previously based on some delirious conditions or delusion conditions of the mother a state and then after the child develop a disposition then the gcs so it is not the hard and fast rule that you can directly prescribe a gcs or the state remedy you have to look into case and then and then the case demand something and then you have to prescribe so hope dr shivam you can understand these things your question is clear from my side <coughs> uh, dr padmavati the this uh, workshop is of 2002 and in that time sir used to learn from the patient perspective only sir has evolved to the pregnancy history in a later year so sir has not asked about anything in the pregnancy history but sir took the disposition as the key point in this case so many a time if you don't have a pregnancy history or many a time if you don't have a mother or a grandmother how can you take the case so sir has given an idea that even the dispositions also guide you to reach to the core remedy and that is what our understanding is so many a time you have to understand from this perspective also that is why sir has not taken the pregnancy test in 2002 but if the patient come in this era in our era of this year then pregnancy history is must and su suppose suppose you have a child which is adopted by the another patients and having certain genetic mutations or some path pathology then how can you approach this child 
mother is not there so sir is telling us the idea that the dispositions also child that is based on his genetic it also guide you the remedy so that is why every thing you have to learn not only the one directional way of learning so you have to learn every aspect you can enter through the need you can enter through the disposition you can enter through the perception you can enter through the pregnancy history you can enter through the delusion of the mother you can enter through the delirious condition of the patient you can enter through the behavior also so there are multiple way of to enter into the case but you have to learn each and every aspect then and then you can get into it so hope you get your answer dr padmavati kartik so thank you all we conclude our sessions here and we'll continue from the uh, day 2 chapter 3 from tomorrow morning hope you all enjoy this learnings <coughs> thank you thank you so much thank you all